We are going to be talking about and doing five techniques that beginners need to know to start watercoloring with ease. I'm going to have you watercoloring in no time. The five techniques that we'll be talking about today are wet on wet, wet on dry, building up color, creating a gradient, and getting precise. So what we'll do first, we have our brush, our paper, our paints, and over here I have a tray to mix the color. In the last video, I shared with you the supplies that you're going to need to get to start watercoloring, but don't worry, I outline the simplest, easiest, really least expensive supplies to get you started, to get you up and running without breaking the bank. First, we're going to do wet on wet. I've got my brush and my water and I'm going to get my brush wet and I'm taking my brush to the water and then going ahead and bringing my water on to my scrap paper here. And it might be a little hard to see because it's just water on top of paper, but I'm going ahead and creating a little square here. And once I get that square good and wet, then I'm gonna get my brush wet again, and I'm gonna go over to a pigment. I'm gonna pick a color, and I'm gonna pick red. And in this red, I'm really going ahead and getting lots of pigment on the brush. As you can see here, it's a wet brush in the pigment. I'm just kind of putting it all around. And now I'm gonna take my brush that has pigment on it and I'm bringing it to the wet already on the paper. And you can see how it easily moves around and spreads in the area where I've already brought in water. Look how nicely that kind of moves around. And the pigment will spread out to everywhere that there's water already on the paper. Now that's wet on wet. Now I'm gonna rinse off my brush. I'm gonna flip my scrap paper around and I'm gonna even get a smaller brush for this next one. The next technique we'll be working on is wet on dry. So I'm gonna get my brush nice and wet here and I'm gonna go ahead and pick another color. So I'm going to pick blue and I'm getting a lot of blue pigment on my brush. So it's a wet brush on the pigment and the paper is dry. So now I'm going to just kind of create some lines and I'm gonna get my brush wet again and just kind of play with that. And as you can see, this is wet on dry, on dry paper. You can do a lot with that. Now, the next technique is building up color. This is actually glazing. When you're working on a piece, you want to work light to dark. So you'll put the lightest color on and then begin to build that color up. I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna bring it back into that blue pigment. And I'm gonna start over here and really just bring my brush on to my palette and I'm gonna create like a nice, this is a nice light blue. And I'm working in the wet on dry technique and I'm just gonna paint a very nice light blue. Now I'll be able to build up this color as I work slowly making this color darker. Now I may, if I'm working on a piece, I may have spots that I want to highlight that I may want them to stay this nice blue color. So we're going to come back to this building up color in a moment. I'm just going to set this aside because we're going to come back to that. It needs to dry a little bit for us to put a little bit more color on it. The next thing that we're doing is we're going to create a gradient. And a gradient is moving either light to dark or dark to it's a lot harder to do dark to light. It's almost impossible. But the gradient is we're gonna really 
grade the color. I use this a lot when I want to see what a color can do. What is the lightest a color can be and what is the darkest a color can be. Let's just continue with that really pretty blue and I'm going to get a lot of pigment on my brush and here I'm just going to start. So I'm taking pretty much the darkest color blue and I'm starting here and then I'm going to add a little bit of water and kind of draw it down. I'm just lightening as I go by adding water. Slowly drawing this color down. And I'm going to rinse off the brush and just get the brush wet and I'm slowly going to bring this color down until it's nice and light. As you can see, we've got we go from the darkest to the lightest on this scrap paper, darkest to lightest, just by bringing the water in. This is a gradient. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we want to get precise. I want to draw a circle. I do want to make this very precise. And I'm going to start with my wet on dry technique and I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm, I wanna create a little highlight in my circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in, leaving the place that I don't want any color. And I'm gonna get a little bit more on my brush and just kind of bring that in. As you can see, nice and precise here. Now let's go back to our building up color. And as you can see, it's now close to dry. It's not completely dry, so the color will spread a little bit, but I'm going to get some more blue on. And I don't want the darkest color. I want to leave some spots. I want to leave some of these spots. The light blue. And I just did another layer, and as you can see, this layer brings it a little darker. This is a light blue that we started with. And now I'm gonna make certain spots dark, really dark. The edges. So I've built up color in some areas, and there's lots of different shades happening. That's how you build up color. We do a lot of building up color when we're creating highlights in a piece. This is a very important technique. So those are the five techniques. And I just want to encourage you now to go play, to try these techniques. Take some scrap paper, maybe cut them into squares and start playing wet on wet, wet on dry. Try to get precise, maybe do a circle, a square, a star, dots. I hope that you've enjoyed these five techniques and it empowers you to go play, just get started. Sometimes the hardest part is just getting started. Play, it's your turn. Go ahead, it's time to play.